as a party, you guys have decided to venture off and explore and revisit Hemsburg, which, before the great shift caused by the Ardens and their dark eldritch magic, had been cleared of vampires. It was There was a small coven of vampires within the church. And there was a team that went in, cleared them out, and freed Hemsburg from kind of that dark shadow that was creeping in. But after the shift, people noticed that Hemsburg had changed, that that small little village had grown, and that's, that dark influence had grown even more, um, and now a great castle stood in the center. You're not sure what exactly is going on. No one has been to Hemsburg since that first venture and after the shift. So whatever's there is dark, but you're not entirely sure what. And so you guys are going to start your adventure entering into the town um, probably later in the afternoon, early evening, but the nature of Hemsburg and the mountains, it always is a little overcast. It's stormy. There's always seems to be some kind of mist or fog flowing through the through the canyons and it just always seems quite dreary. So you end up in town and it's you know it's not a huge city but you see you always have the look of the castle off in the background. Um, you see a few people wandering the streets um, in the mud and the and the kind of the lights shining through the window. But additionally one of the things you notice is Every now and then, you see a more ornate cart pass by and quickly move itself forward towards the castle and off out of the distance. And this happens, you know, every you know every couple not every couple minutes, but it's happening with regular enough uh, frequency that you you do take notice of it. So these carriages quickly head off into the distance and disappear. So you've got a few villagers about um, the castle off in the distance and that's where we'll begin. So could everybody give me a an initiative roll to establish that turn order and then we'll start moving through turns with some actions. So we got Preach, he's got a 17, Gilda 11, Mugen 4, and Scourge is 19. So it's going to go Scourge, Preach, Gilda, and Mugen. So Mugen in the back, Scourge in the front. And that's where we'll begin. Mm -hmm. So Scourge, mm -hmm. what would what would you like to do on your first turn? Um these are like NPCs that are hanging around. Yeah, they're they're there's yeah. Citizens of the town. Okay. There's a you know, it looks like a woodsman wandering kind of chopping wood next to a building you see uh, a pair of women talking next to a cart uh, kind of compiling things together things like that mm. I'll um uh make my way over to the ladies okay um I'll just ask if they've seen or heard anything going on with the the castle recently um Okay, give me, give me a wisdom check. Uh, this is plus, uh, thirteen plus uh, four, seventeen. Okay, seventeen. All right. So, like when you mention the castle, you see two different reactions. On the left, uh, you see uh this this woman that seems like she's more of a uh a na uh, native, like she's. Here she's mm -hmm. she's part of the town. The other one seems more like a, like someone who's tra a traveler. Um, and the, the the lady on the left, she like when you mention the castle, she kind of like gets a little dreary. But the lady on the right gets excited as they tell you that haven't you heard? Mm -hmm. There's a great there's a great party tonight. The 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 uh, the lord the lord of Eventide Manor. Is is hosting a great, a great gathering. And and the lady on the right says like, I know it's, 
I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm going there now. My, my friends huh. are already up, are up, up there, are headed, headed on their way. I was just gra gathering a few more supplies, as, uh, asking a few more questions, and you can see that she has a pad of paper and a note, uh, taking notes. The, the lady on the right said her friends are going up. Yes. Okay, the lady on the left looks um sad. <laughs> yes. Or like this, like despondent even. Yes. Okay, and she the lady on the right doesn't seem to notice this about the lady on the left. She's like just too excited. To... Correct. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess that's the end of my turn for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's yeah. something to chew on for sure. All right. Okay. So preach yeah. your uh, your tor your tortant friend is. You know, hit up a conversation. Um, you can hear some of, you can overhear some of what's going on. But what would you like to do? I'd like to go over here and talk to this guy over here. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, I'll light a cigarette, roll the cigarette, walk over, and and I'll look at him and I'll say, uh, "What's been going on in this town? We hear that there's some some troubles." Okay. Give me a give me a charisma roll. Okay. Sixteen. Nice. Yeah, he he looks at you and is like troubles. What? <laughs> what do you know of troubles? And I'll just kind of look at him, and I'll say, uh, "There's just been rumors of foul things coming from the castle." Hmm. What do you know? What do I know? Well, I know that no one go should go there and. That that one is a fool. Indicate you know, pointing to the to what you look what appears to be the kind of the the other the other lady. Gotcha. All right. Okay, excellent, Gilda. What'd you like to do on your turn? All right, so. I think I'm gonna head up, head head over across the street and start checking out some of like the houses and see what condition this town's actually in right now. Okay, now give me. Uh... Feel like you know. <clears throat> what was that? Uh, never mind. Yeah, what was oh, you, I was gonna say, just give me a whiz roll to see kind of what details you pick up. Eighteen. Eighteen. Very nice. Okay, <clears throat> so as you look around at the town, you see that it it's kind of older not necessarily falling out of disrepair but things are dirty they're kind of always damp the the mold and the thing is is growing from the ground uh discolored um yeah. you do see that everyone has shutters on their on their their win the windows that they that you can see or can lock um of course yeah, it seem it seems like they're the, everyone's kind of built their houses to shut her up. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Very nice. All right, and f let's uh, finish out the round with Mugen. Uh, Mugen was going to see if he was able to get a sense of where the stagecoaches were coming from. Mm. Like if he can get a smell of maybe something that's on the uh, tires, or I guess they're called tires. <laughs> yeah. The wheels. Yeah. The wheels, okay. Yeah, give me a whiz roll. Ooh, and that's a plus three. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not quite. You know, you as you you know sniff about and look around. Uh, the the muck in the road is is quite strong. Um, just that kind of bogginess to it. Like when you're you, when you step <clears throat> you, when you step into kind of this this that that muck that would like eat your shoe. That kind of a smell is just kind of filling your nose. Okay. Um, but speaking of carriages, uh, and did you want to move anywhere? I guess I'll head in the direction of the characters a bit. Um, uh, carriages. Okay. So speaking of carriages, 
let's see if I can actually do this one. Um, you you notice that another one is quickly approaching, and you know it quickly. You know, it's not like on a rampage or anything like that, or reckless driving. But you can see that it it is driving with purpose, um, and it it moves past you guys at a at a decent pace and quickly descends down the road and around the corner up towards the castle and this this lady here you know you, she kind of gets her eyes go wide and excited as she passes by and she's like uh i i, th I think i think that was i think that was uh rosalie i think that was i think that was rosalie's carriage Uh, Rosalie? Yeah, 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 Ros let's, didn't, I told your friend here, I'm assuming your friends or anything like that, but, uh, but there's a great party, the, uh, the, the Lord of Eventide has opened up his doors, and, and he's, mm -hmm. and he's, uh, calling in some of the great scholars from around Alfheim, the, the great minds and, and collectors, uh, to discuss great historical things, and, and almost like a, like a, a conference and, and that was oh. that was that was that was rosalie she's uh she's she's a great great scholar from her her in huh. and westberg um what what do, what do you know about the the lord of even time oh uh that he's a that he's a recluse that he's that he oh. seldom opens his doors but but he's rumored to have tremendous knowledge a great library and a great collection of historical artifacts he he's dedicated his life to to the study of history hmm I, I have a question Kane so uh the stronghold here is like relatively new right to, like... to you guys perhaps to the world oh. to the world no because uh when the shift happened it kind of reversed oh. certain events in time, and so it built, it was able to build build up in a different kind of branch timeline. And so this is this castle has been here for quite some time. Okay, so it's it's possible that he has been here for a while, gathering up like research for a library. That it that yeah. is Scourge would think that that's reasonable. Yes. Okay. Um. Huh. Not much is known about him. Because he's a recluse, I'm guessing. Yes. I'll, the, the scourge is going to say out loud to yeah. the ladies. Correct. Okay. But, but we, but I'm we're we're on our way to meet. To we'll finally get to meet him potentially. We're he, you know, like I said, my friends are going there right now. Are you? Hmm. Were you invited to the to the to the event? <laughs> are you? Coming? Uh, I can't say that I was. I look around at um the party. I was like, but I have a feeling that we might just be ending up there regardless. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you do, I, I I hope they let you in. It's it's a wonderful opportunity. It sounds like one. I say. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I rolled timer of four. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll come back around to you, Scourge. Is there an action you'd like to take? I know you've been. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I've been RPing here. I mean, I guess, um, uh, uh, I guess, can I, can I try to climb up on, I'll, I'll like, I'll be like, have a good time, ladies, and I'll like, you know, uh, move away from them. If I like climb up on one of the buildings, can I get like a, like a sense of like the mist or whatever? Sure. They'll look at you a little odd, but yeah, give me, give me just, uh. Uh, yeah, we're just going to say you're going to roll it, no question. Um, so you can kind of get up a little ways. The lady's like, what are you doing up there? You know, I'm just going to put my hand up like I'm a, like, I, like I'm a sailor. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, uh, just, uh, I, I love, love a viewpoint from up, from up high, you know. Uh, but I'm really just trying to check out the mist. Yep, for sure. So the mist, mm. as you look around, just seems to be wafting everywhere. In every direction, it's kind of through the alleys, through the streets, 
up the mountains around the castle like it just kind of fills this this area um, right. and it's not it's not like it's so thick that you can't see anything but you can see that it it really cuts off your your distance of the, you know your sense of the horizon um, yeah sense of time even a little bit potentially it does seem mm. a little odd to hear mm. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Oh, well, that's it. Preach. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out my 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 book of truths. It's got the symbol of the gods on the front, and I'm going to cast a bulwark on myself. Okay. Let's get that. Ah, no. The 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 woodsman turns to you and is like are you one of them magic magic folks uh, voodoo voodoo type I, I look and I say I'm one that follows the gods mm. what gods they've forgotten this place you can see he's a bit it of a downer <laughs> yeah <laughs> he sounds like him okay excellent uh Gilda, what would you like to do? All right, I'm going to um, kind of been, have been like hearing the conversations people have been having. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to say something along the lines of like, okay, boys, well, we should probably get up there, or else I'm afraid something might happen that we don't want. This, uh, this party could have some bad results for, uh, us and our duties. I don't want more work to be made. I'm gonna kind of, you know, start heading up the road. Okay. Scourge will nod. Alright, heading up the road. All right, uh, Mugen, is there something you'd like to do, or would you like to follow Gilda? Uh, Mugen will do the same and follow up the road. Mm. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, just as we finish out the round, I'm turning the timer down to four to three. Uh, Preach and uh, Scourge, are you going to be following as well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> part of me, <laughs> part of me is thinking if I can parkour across the roofs, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna follow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you guys, you guys start marching your way up towards the the castle, and you can, you can, you know. The, the streets and the alleys pass by the buildings. Eventually, you kind of leave the, the 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 city kind of portion, and it opens up into this wider space that's leading up the hill. You eventually cross uh, this large, you know, this large bridge. Um, whatever as as you as you move along. Okay. Um, and as you, as you do, let's see, let's see if it will let me, this one's being silly with me. Uh, just a moment, I'm going to have to refresh. Word. Yeah, during the while we're walking, I'll relay the information I I got to the other party members. Yeah. So what, yeah. While I'm doing that, any any thoughts on what's going, what you've learned so far? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't. This feels like Barovia. I can't help but feel that. Mm. It, it feels <laughs> like uh, he's gathering all these important people for something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> To blow them all up like or nothing, something, or nothing good can come of this. <laughs> yeah, I doubt he's like he just gonna. It's not a party. I'm sure it's a. It might be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah, the fact that th so since the residence is 
sad. I was going to say we're following the carriage, right? Like that's, yeah. Yeah, that's how we know how to get there. Um, it's like the, the residents clearly know what's going on. And Scourge is just going to say he's in character while we're walking, I guess. Um, I, I bet the, the residents actually know who this lord is, and he doesn't sound great. I mean, I'm all for privacy or whatever, but I mean, being a recluse for a while and then having a big party for no re for some reason <laughs> seems a little manic. Yeah. <laughs> if not inc just inconsistent. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Um, if not, no worries. Uh, as you guys are chatting, maybe discussing what's happening, just you know, getting your feel for for this for this place. Uh, another carriage comes up from behind you and slows down, and hmm. and the woman that was talking to you for earlier, you know, pokes her head out of the window and says, "Hey, hey." I, I have room to spare if you if you'd like to to a ride the the rest of the way. <laughs> uh, um, can I roll wisdom on her? I, I, I okay, her intentions. Yeah, go for it. Give me a wisdom roll. That's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... yeah. You're you're not you're not able to discern too much, but like you do like you're not getting any like red flags I look to the rest of the party what do you guys think my, my name's my name's Eva by the way how far are we if we walked is it um, still a distance so essentially like this is kind of like the barrier between not the barrier but like the, the village ends you go ahead up a hill and then you cross this bridge and then you got a little bit further up uh, to get to the castle if we go with her, we can probably have a better chance of getting inside. Uh, good call. Can I, yeah. can I give a second sniff to find out as to whether or not uh, it's a safe journey? Like, whether or not she is arriving from somewhere? Yeah, go for it. Give me, a, give me that whiz roll. Plus three, yep. Yeah, you 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 sense the carriages, you know, from from the local, but yeah, she sense she smells like somebody who's from f like far off, you know. She doesn't her smell doesn't match match up here. I think we should go with her. So, but she has a sense of warning from her, or we should definitely. No, no, you're you're feeling you're not feeling any any strange vibes from that. Oh, okay, all right, all right, yeah, we should I think, definitely go. Though. Yeah, if we go with her, we'll blend in. I think because we well, weren't as best as we can. I mean, <laughs> we'll blend in a little more because we weren't right. officially invited, and now we just seem like some intellectuals who are intellectually curious. You know. Yeah. Can I attempt another bulwark getting up into the carriage before I get in the carriage? Go for it. So will this be easy now since I failed the first one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Made it. Nice. You know, light shimmers across you, and you know, again, <laughs> Eva's eyes go wide, and she's like, "Oh, you're, are you a mage?" I, I walk with the gods, lady, and I'll climb oh. in. Oh, I see. I see. Interesting. And she takes some notes. Um. Gilda, was there something you'd like to do? We kind of went out of turn order. It's totally fine. Uh, just kind of freeform at the moment. But what would you... Is there something you'd like to do? Seems people want to get on the carriage. Right, right. People want to get on the carriage. Does she, does she seem like she's willing to take us across? Oh, yeah. Or, you know, take us up to the castle? Yeah, definitely. That's where she's headed. All right, all right. I mean, yeah, I'm going to head over and, you know, see about getting in the carriage with her. I'm very skeptical, obviously. You mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be ready to cast a spell at a moment's notice. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, you guys can. Kind of, you know, yeah. I'm giving her a slight side eye as I mm -hmm. get into the carriage, but not saying anything. 
Got it. All right, so you guys hop into the carriage. And the carriage starts starts moving. As soon as it starts moving, she starts kind of like blasting a couple questions at you like, where are you guys from? Like, what are you guys doing here? You know, you you have, you know, magic users, you know, priests, a, tor a torton, a witch, you know, like, She's she's very <laughs> very interested in your guys' stories as 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 you guys move. Uh, I'll fire back at her like we'd like to hear about you. About me? Where you're from. Oh I I'm from uh I'm from Ket. Oh. That's I'm, a long way away, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna it, say it's <laughs> It is. I haven't been home for quite some time, but me and my my company we we travel travel the world and and collect stories and and history and and record it all. I'm I'm a I'm I'm an archivist. Hmm. Ava the archivist. So, so so what brings you here? Well, we uh, we heard of we've we you know we've heard of of the Eventide Castle and. And uh, um, we knew of it, but then we we got a, a messenger uh, came to us and invited us to attend this this party and to be here this evening. And so we've we've made the journey, trekked our way here, and we're just so excited to get a chance to to you know speak with others who are similarly minded to us, other other uh, scholars and knowledge seeking folk. Mm. Um, I'll um, I'll like reach my my uh, torn hand out, and like from my the sleeve of my clothes, like uh, ten thousand tiny like nano machines come out, mm -hmm. and just like 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 coat over my arm like <laughs> uh, venom style, and then I just like shunt them back in and go off for uh, on the left arm as well. I'm just doing this to appease her. Mm. Since she answered our, our questions, <laughs> I'm just doing this to distract her, mm. to uh, so she doesn't pry too much into everyone else, what everyone else is up to. Got it. Yeah. I'll offer her a smoke. Oh no, no, thank you, no, thank you. That's <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> All right. Any other questions for Eva or things you'd like to to say? As we um, round the corner, the final bend to the castle proper of Eventide. How, how did how did you hear about this event again? I forget if we already asked this, but oh oh, like we were we were invited. We we just got a, a message. Uh, oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were approached suddenly, and we just had to take up the opportunity. Cool. Oh look, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any other questions as you round into the court, the main courtyard? Lots of carriages. Yes, lots of carriages. I mean, yeah, quite, not not for Ava, but I do have questions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for the Lord, probably. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, don't worry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nervous. That was way more intimidating. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So as you, as you guys enter into the courtyard, you hear music. You see lights. It's all decorated. You see, you know, a few guards standing in the in the back in the corner. But you also see uh, an array of, you know, what appears, you know. To be workers who are moving, moving around, taking care of things, carrying trays and carting to one another. There's a procession of of carriages that have arrived, um, and you can see that people kind of pull in, get out, move on, and up into the uh, up into the the castle, the castle, kind of where the the lights are are, and um, it's not like blasted and whatever, but yeah, it's just. And so eventually, you guys pull up, and and uh, a footman helps helps you out of uh, Eva's carriage, 
and welcomes you to Ma to Castle Eventide. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get out. And I'll, cool. I'll, put, I'll throw a cigarette on the ground and smush it out with my foot, and then light another one. <laughs> okay. Are these these guard? These are guards, also. Those are footmen. Yes, those are footmen. The guards. Footmen, guard footmen and, the, and then these are guards. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Word. Okay. Oh. Quite a few number of carriages. Must be a bunch of scholars in here. Yes, seems uh, seems it's from all all over the place. All gathered in one place. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look at these two folks. Looks like they're greeting people as they're coming through the door up here. These ones? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they're not greeting anybody. They are more immaculately dressed. Much more like they seem to be uh, more, you know noble noble dress like they they're in their finery sipping on you know wine and drink one of them is kind of like listening and nodding as he sips the other one is talking very loudly excitedly um to the other talking his ear off a little bit so can i eavesdrop on what they're saying uh potentially let's so we're starting at the top of the round uh preach what do you, do you want to go up and eavesdrop yeah well we can go around we score score can go first Oh yeah, Squirk, Sorry. Oh yeah, no, no worries. I uh, I was just thinking that's a good idea. Actually, I'm just trying to see if I have uh, any. No, I can't. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'm gonna also uh, I'm gonna steal steal your idea because uh, no I'm gonna try to sit nearby and <laughs> see if I can do eavesdrops on or eavesdrop on what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a give me a wisdom roll. It's gonna be easy. Okay. Damn! <laughs> oh wait, that's a ten. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so you can you can hear mostly you know the guy on the left in the red. He's talking quite loudly and he's he's telling tales of of back in back in Cath, you know, just like a funny story of him out out in the desert. You know, want, wandering about looking for water. We were we were lost for, you know, s seven days. I had nothing nothing to drink. We'd 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 spent everything that we had already, and I I couldn't f couldn't find find anywhere. But little did we know. And he tells the story of this camel showing up and being the you know that yeah you know like it's just this ends up being this kind of long winded story about how it's lost in the desert and a camel. Helped keep him alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now he cool. owns. Now he keeps that camel. All right. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's my that's my turn. Nice. Okay, preach. It's. Uh, I'm just gonna walk right up to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna kind of tip my hat, and look back and and, and say, uh, "Are you?" Uh, to the guy who's 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 not a uh, who's kind of listening, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Who's the woman that? Okay, so I'll tip my my hat and look at him, and I'll say, uh, "The name's Preach. What's yours?" Hmm. He looks at you. His eyebrows raise. His he, he you know he stands a little taller than you as an elf, um, and he looks at you as Theron. And Preach, you said. I've never. I'll, I'll, I'll give a nod. And blow some smoke towards him. <laughs> you can see he, he kind of like bats his eyes and you know, you know, kind of like furrows it, you know, ugh, you know, politely disdain a little bit. And he's like, "What? <laughs> and what brought? And were you invited? Um." We're, what, what's this woman's name again? I, I forget her name. Eva. Oh, yeah. e Eva. So yeah. we came with Eva, and I'll, I'll I'll nod back at her. Ah, the honored guest. Seems she's picked up some strays. I pers I, I don't consider myself a stray. I consider myself protection. Protection, you say? Against what? Important people. Be protected. Oh, you important. You protect important people. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose that's one way to make a living. I'll, I'll nod, give him a wry smile, hmm. blow some more smoke at him. <laughs> Again, you can see that the disdain is slowly, is like just visibly just growing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Gilda, what would you like to do? Mm, I'm going to come up behind Preach over here and just like stand behind him. Uh, squinting at the vampire a little bit, like a uh, little bit of, a little bit of disdain. Hmm. Disdain with disdain, I see. Just uh, so you just want to kind of peer back at, peer yes, back at him. He's kind of, kind of glaring at the elf guy. Oh. Ah, another one We're I see. <laughs> We're very creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. And and who might you be? Another protector? A guardian uh, of important things? I'd say I'm a guardian of myself, actually. Mm. I'm just here to take a look around and accompany my friends. Hm. You never know what could happen. I suppose. But I imagine you, you kind of, you lot get... And this comes quite nasty business more often than you should. Hmm. I'm just gonna, you know, smile at him. Yeah. And the other, the other guy kind of like looks at him. He's like Theron, and taps it, like elbows him, and he's like, "Cheer up. There's no, there's no reason to, be, to be, uh, be cold with these, with these newcomers. Welcome, welcome. We're, we're happy to have you." Mm. Okay, um, Eugen, what'd you like to do? Uh, Eugen will just move around the fountain to the other side and casually walk about, uh, keeping an eye on the goings. Okay. All right, and then one of the footmen kind of like walks up and like hands you like a small hors d'oeuvre. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay he kind of tells you that that the uh please please make your way to the great hall dinner will be served shortly is that through but the door behind <laughs> where those guys are up yeah there? up here up here north? to the north yep okay. i'll uh i'll wait for the party but i want to enter in, inside okay all right, um, you guys all want to head in? Eva's very excited. I'm down. Okay. The Great Hall. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, as you as you enter in, um, one, a couple footmen are there taking coats and and handing off glasses and hors d'oeuvres. Um, but then they another one is like, please, uh, please. Deposit any uh, obvious, you know, indicating any weapons here at the the back table. They'll be ready for you when you finish with your meal. I point at my staff. I'm like, it's my walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody needs to. If you have any kind of like obvious weapons, large weapons, nothing that can be concealed um, or justified. Then we'll have. I got my. Well, I'll I'll, I'll, sh I'll shoulder my thump my thump gun and put it down. But I'm gonna keep my little heat inside my coat. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep my knives there, yeah. you know, concealed under my uh, cloak. That's totally uh, fine. My shield? Would my shield be put yeah. a, put away? Yeah. Oh, we have to go with shields too. Yeah, like. <laughs> They're like, oh, you, okay. you don't, you won't need a shield for dinner. We'll, you, yeah. we'll, be, eating, we'll be eating off plates. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Um, once yeah. you guys have deposited some of you know your larger, more obvious weapons, they they let you in and guide you in towards the uh, to the great hall. You can see quite a few people are already there oh. and established. Um, so as you guys kind of enter in, you you see that people are are chatting. They're they're sitting down. Some are you know just waiting, and the the footmen are are slowly carrying out uh, food to the table. Um, and things like that, t t so that uh, you can get ready to, for, to eat. Um, you see that Eva is escorted over to her friends who are already seated there at the table, and they escort you to the to the opposite side of the table um, with them over here by the windows. Okay. Let's see. Um, the, yeah, the chatter is loud. The music is playing. You know, the sun is slowly setting uh, down, and the moon is rising up uh, in the back windows that you can see are on the one side of the great hall. And just so you guys have this on record, this is your table where they're keeping the stuff. Okay. And you can see that Eva excitedly like greets her friends and they wave to her and are excited. Um, and they start like pointing out to people. It's like, oh, that's, that's Arad. That's, that's Serena. That's Roderick. Oh man, they've, they really brought, brought everybody. I get a bad feeling about this. It's a who's who of scholars. <laughs> Important people. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so this is where all the weapons are? Yes. Okay, cool. I, I'm not touching any of the food or drink. Just okay. let it sit in front of me. Yeah, no one, no one is eating yet. So, all right. Okay, you can see that the, the, the dinner is, is about to begin, but you'll have a chance to do one more, one more thing or before, uh, before dinner starts. Okay. Uh, so scourge. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can. It's gonna be weird if none of us. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can like fake eat the food or, or for like check if it's okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I, I mean I guess I could just check it. I, I don't have any magic that can do it. So, um, yeah, I guess can I just check the drink or. Either by aroma or and, and, and the food to see if it's is there anything going on with it? Yeah, give me a wisdom check. All right, here we go. That's a dirty twenty. Oh, very nice. Um, so as you as you sniff the the uh, the food and everything, it's it's actually quite quite delicious and it's it's very aromatic. Um, a lot of different flavors from around the world, um, quite exotic fares, um, but you're you're not you're not sensing that anything is like poisoned or off or anything like that. It does seem to be genuine. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm still a little wary, so I'm not gonna. Well, I'll, I'll actually I'll say the party like I don't think it's poisoned. I'll just say that, like, I'm under my breath to the party. And Eva's like, um, why would it be poisoned? No, not to, oh, I didn't want her to hear. I, I only went <laughs> to other party members. Yeah, you're good. But uh, if she hears me, though, I'll just be like, oh, you know, you know, it's, uh, it's got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Torn's got to be careful. I got, you know, I got, I live really old, really long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Preach. Hmm. I'm going to try. Who's got the? Uh, I guess Gilda. What? How many? What's your armor class? Just curious. Uh, twelve. All right. I'm going to give Gilda. I'm going to see if I'm going to cast Holy Bulwark on Gilda as well. <laughs> I'll just kind of open my book and say a little prayer and see what happens. Yep. Okay. So that All gives right. you an extra heart. 
All right. Everybody give me a whiz check. Made it. Oh, damn. Okay, so those... No, the, Gilda! Uh, <laughs> those who, who made it notice these two men kind of like... As the cat as the spell is cast, you you see them kind of like perk up and like are draw you know pay like they look over to you guys and, and kind of like look back to each other um, as as they notice you've ca as you've cast cast the spell. Okay, I'll tip my hat towards him. I was too busy getting bulwarked. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, excellent. All right, Gilda. Well, I'm now, uh, right, right, right. Okay, well, I'm looking around. Oh, what does the bulwark put my defense at? It, it gives you an extra heart. So you have an 20. extra heart. Oh, Jesus, right, okay. It's temporary, temporary 10 hit points, so when you take yep. damage... That will be damaged first, and then your your real hit points will start taking damage. But same armor class, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's made you a little tougher. Okay, awesome. I'm kind of you know scanning around, looking at all of the different people at all the different tables, kind of seeing what their what their vibe is. Mm. Okay, yeah, give me a wisdom roll. Sixteen. Sixteen. <clears throat> Okay, so as you observe and you look around, like, yes, they're kind of interspersed, um, but you notice that the uh, there seems to be about two, like, two kind of groupings. Like, you, you see, you start seeing a consistency, like, reds and browns and yellows and are dressed, you know, in one way, and blues and greens and, and purples or whatever, another way. And they're, they always seem to be kind of, like just these you know almost as if there's just two groups in the, in the hall um and it's you also notice that it's consistent with those here at the at the head of the room okay right 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 interesting okay yep that'll be my turn excellent all right and mugen rounding this off uh, Mugen, after shoveling the hors d'oeuvre in his mouth, will sit down and uh, will he see? Was it preach that checked the food? Or no, I'm no. sorry, scorch, uh, right? Scourge. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um. Yeah. After seeing scorch check the food, he'll just start digging in and eating away. All right. Okay. All right, excellent. Okay, guys, we are gonna tick this from one to zero, and at that point, uh, the man at the at the head of the hall rings up and chinks his glass and calls the room to attention. But I want to give each one of you guys a hero coin for successfully making it into the party without incident. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't attack anybody. You didn't attack anybody, so you deserve to be rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's, cool. That that I I can tell you that that's a genuine, <laughs> genuine reward. <laughs> yeah, it makes that makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> so the music quiets down a little, and and this this figure, this older gentleman, stands up and and he begins talking and, and monologuing. Um, he he welcomes everybody to to the great to the great gathering um he says the the our two our clans our 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 guilds the oracles and the salvators we we have been uh been together for for quite some time and this gathering is a special occasion that we all look forward to every every year um it's a moment to discuss to to catch up to to celebrate um, and to dine together, type of things. And it seems that we have many uh, 
excited guests with us and he points over to to the, the group here as well as to you guys here are our honored guests and everyone kind of like claps um, claps for a moment um, and he he kind of like steps over and and like starts talking to each um, to everybody about it to like see um, like asking their names their little backstories things like that um, we've already kind of done that a, a little bit um, if you'd like you're welcome to introduce yourself to the to the group otherwise uh, you just kind of like move move through it as he as he talks and talks and you know things like that um, so as he does um, I'm gonna roll a couple times okay I'll take note of that and then can each one of you as he kind of walks by give me a whiz check I made it with 12 13 total okay Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. You can you can sense like as you as he's talking, he has a quite a, an eloquent voice. Like it's the kind of voice that just falls, you know, so sweetly on your ears. All that kind of stuff. As as like if he were to read you a book before bed, you'd fall asleep in an instant. Like it, it just it's just a, an orator's voice, if nothing else. Um, but you're able to you you stick you you focus in and you you hear him hear him talking more and more and eventually kind of gets. Can I look around and see if other people are being affected adversely by his talking? Sure, give me a give me a whiz roll. Made it. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> so you see this one here, one of Eva's party. Um, like, as he talks, you can see that there's just this general sense of enthrallment coming more and more and more on um, to the point where he's like, you can tell that he's hanging on every syllable that this man is, is saying. And this man is Lord Dravon Dravond. Or Dravond, if you want to make it a little simple, simpler. I'll take note of that. Okay. <clears throat> so eventually, you know, as he talks, people people begin eating and and everything like that, and the 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 moon continues to rise and rise and rise. Um, and through the course of the dinner, <clears throat> you're able to talk um, amongst yourselves, asking questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, but but eventually, eventually, the kind of the meal kind of comes to a conclusion, right? Um, and he he invites he invites uh, the one this one up up here to the uh, to the stage and <clears throat> talks to him and welcomes him and again asks more details about him. And he introduces himself as uh, as Masa. Sorry. Masa. Sorry. Apologize. <laughs> that was just a yawn. <laughs> Snuck up on me. <laughs> M, M A like M A S A Masa. Yeah, M A S A. Cool. I'm gonna look at uh at the woman we came in with and see if she's has any kind of uh reaction to Masa going up there. Okay. Mm, okay. So far no, she doesn't have any any reaction whatsoever. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna listen. All Light right. another smoke. <laughs> Light another smoke. All right, and as you know, as that talking happens, whatever it eventually, um, like the meal, the meal is over. But he, 
Dravon you know describes that we have we have dessert. Uh, we have dessert ready ready and waiting for us. Uh, and Ooh. he's not looking at the guy when he's saying that. Is he? <laughs> oh, he is. He is. Oh God. Um. And so as as he's talking, like out of out of you know like mid sentence, he's kind of like walking back and forth behind this guy, and this guy is just hanging on onto his words. Eventually, you know, out of nowhere, as you'd expect from this adventure, Dravond sinks his teeth deeply into the neck of Masa. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> yeah. And you? Oh god! <laughs> oh, have it. Yeah. oh no! <laughs> and you? You look around as everybody begins to cheer and stand up in their seats. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Uh, we should also cheer and stand up, probably. <laughs> And and you that, see that's exactly what Mugen's gonna do. He's gonna stand up and clap. He's gonna like, clap yeah! with my food dripping from his mouth. <laughs> good show, good show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, man. Uh, anyways, so you can see the Eva and the other friend like scream. They're the only ones that aren't seeming to cheer about that. They even look to you who are standing up and cheering. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> They're con they're they're confused, whatever. And they're, like, no, they respect them. Yeah, they. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we're gonna reroll initiative. You now, are, okay. you are now, you the the realization comes. I don't know if you you know weren't aware of it, but you're in a room full of vampires, and you walked onto the menu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got. So, it's it's just the blue tokens you are in vampires, Kane. Is that correct? And 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 we're and us. It's okay. Correct. That's a lot of vampires. Hmm. <laughs> well, oh, hold on. Well, let me just really, really quick. Let me just okay. One, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twenty, twenty. It's a twenty-three vampires. It's four of us. <laughs> oh, six. If you count the two in front of us. Okay, yeah, the six. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta look at something else too. Look what's on the other side of the room. Our weapons. Our weapons. I've got an idea. Okay, <laughs> hmm. let me roll. Six. I... Oh, I got a one. I will be going last. <laughs> six. God. Let me just put this on my fingers really quick. Six versus twenty-three. Vampires. <laughs> 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 hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I've got Preach, then Gilda, then Mugen, then Scourge going. I believe that was how the far order. Can I, how far can I move towards my weapons? Oh, wait. I don't think I actually rolled for initiative. Okay, roll for it. Rolled. Time for maximum heroism. Nice. Was this... The, yeah, Gilda. Okay, so it looks like... I think you're you're now in the back. Other than me. Yeah, you're still. you're after me. Yeah. Okay. So in this room, essentially, you can get halfway with a near action. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to the middle of the room, and and flip open my my holy book of truths, and and a glow, hopefully a glow of sunlight of regeneration will appear in my hand. Nice. But <laughs> try it. Ugh. I'll give up my hero coin for that. I okay. Well, I got one, so I'll use mine just in case. You keep yours. All right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, eleven. No, not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. It'll be easy on your if you do it again next turn. Yep. So I'm. Uh, I, I'm. You, I'm. I'm starting to preach. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> walking to the center of the room. Um. Who wait? Uh. Who's Bulwark? Preach and Gilda. Or Mujin and Gilda. 
Um, I think priest? preach preach is. Uh, I'm a, is, I'm a yeah. priest. Yeah. Yeah, priest preach. No, I mean, I'm sorry. Who's who's bulwark? I mean, uh, me and Gilda. Yeah. Got and you. Gilda. Got you. Okay. Okay. As you as you get up there and you pull out your holy book, you see a couple of them recoil, but then they hiss and be like, "The you know a holy man." They they're excited to potentially spill the blood of a of a cleric, a priest. I won't go easily into the darkness. <laughs> you are already there, my friend. Okay. All right. So, preach went and Eugene. What would you like to do? Uh what time of day was this? Uh... You're you're mm -hmm. now you're now playing at like eight p.m. Late, you know, it's kind of getting the evening has is progressing. Okay, I'm guessing it's in the fall or something like that. All right, um, Mugen will see Preach in the middle of the room, and to aid him, he will use his amber beads on him. And cast regen. Ooh, just got it. <laughs> just got it. Oh yeah, because you have amber beads. That's right. Correct. Okay, so for D four rounds, um, you will heal one D eight. Uh, preach. All right. Now, Mike, do I have? Am I glowing or at all? Like you are it, glowing, yes. Well, not from right. regeneration, because uh, like the spark of sunlight is just a little spark that you kind of place into somebody's soul or whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. It's not like a it's not like a blast of sunlight. It's like a spark. Gotcha. Okay. No, he's pregnant. That's why. <laughs> all right. Okay. So is it what, what's the healing every round? Is it die eight uh, or die ten? Uh, die eight. Die eight. Yep. Yeah. Die eight. Unmodded. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Scorg. Scorg. I right. know this because I'm, I'm about to do the same thing. So it's a breach. <laughs> All three of us have regen. Um, the thing about me, though, I have radiant powers. I can regen three people if I succeed. Mm. So preach is regen. I say, what's well, making a regen party? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. No! Oh. Oh. I, think I, I, I think I have to hero coin this, given the situation. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn it. Oh, are, you oh, me? Oh, wow. are you kidding me? Wait, so Ken, how does this work? Uh, yeah, how would this work? I guess. So for the regen, what I've been normally doing on a on a nat twenty. Um, mm -hmm. You you get an extra round of regeneration. Love it. That's perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Very so nice. that'd be five rounds then. On for all and that's all three of us. I target I'm targeting all the rest of the party that's not regen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. So you guys will be regeneration every every round for the next five rounds, you guys will heal a flat D eight on your turn. Right. It's pretty good. Is it just uh, Does that D four say five on it? It does say. <laughs> it's got five on it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. End of my turn. Very nice. Well done. Okay. Scourge. Yeah. Oh, that was me. Oh, that was you. I apologize. Sorry. I thought it was. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Gilda. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, try to cast Arn's Hex on the dude who just bit the poor little uh, Kedian scholar. Okay. So I'm gonna spend two of my like Master's Skull blood points to boost the roll, so I have okay. an extra plus two. So okay. it's gonna be plus three to cast. Sweet. Or no, plus plus five. Sorry. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen. Very nice. You and then, it. basically, um, Arn's Hex is uh, magic damage each round for 1d4 rounds. OK. 
Okay. So give me that D4 roll. Two, Two and then so first round we're getting uh, 10 damage. 10 damage, okay. All right. I just kind of, you know, whip out my hand and cast the spell and, you know, use some of the blood out of my charred skull <laughs> and then uh, kind of run a little bit this way. Okay. All right. Timers. To get in between, you know, these two and the oh, that's good. and the vampires over here. Good, good plan. Okay. Timer's going to drop down from three to zero. This guy is going to... He takes the... He, you know, you see the orange hex take effect and his skin starts to kind of, like flake off but then he draws in a, a gulp of blood and heals for five okay we oh. got this lady you know you got two ladies pouncing upon you two here this man pulls out his sword and his claws and and he He's, you know, yeah, he just kind of has whatever there. He's going to uh, move up and, and keep keep you busy. But then we've got this halfling and this this elf standing side. He's, you can see the elf is super excited about this one. <laughs> it's ladies night. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> All right. So we got these two. Right attack. One, one attack on Scourge. That is a 17. That hits me without okay. my shield. All right. That's one damage from a claw. Okay. okay. All right. And then they're going to try to grapple you. So give me a contested strength check. Oh, it bodes poorly for me. Um. No. <laughs> 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 okay, this, this lady is nimble. She like gets around your defenses, <laughs> like scratches you across the face, and immediately like swings behind you on your shell, so it's hard to reach her. And she just sinks her teeth into your neck. Oh, that's bad. All right, and she's gonna take. <laughs> she's gonna take six, six points of damage. Uh, from you as you feel the blood getting pulled out of your neck. That could have been way worse, though. <laughs> it could have been, <laughs> yes. been way worse. Okay. I could have been dead dead. Okay. That's a 12 on Mugen, which I don't think hits. No. Okay. Oh, that's a miss on Gilda. Yep, kind of darting out of the way from that weird-looking vampire noble. Okay. So this one comes in successfully gets him and she as old as she looks she gets a hold of this guy and starts dragging him away and this lady starts getting into this vampire cat fight with Eva and again grapples her by the throat and starts dragging her away so you've got that sucks okay and then we've got three attacks on preach one, two, three. Those all hit. All hit. Yep. <laughs> all hit. Okay. Thank God I have ball work up and regeneration. Okay. One, two, mm. three. Okay, that's twelve points of damage from claws. All right, so I'm down to eight regular hit points now. Okay, and this is going to be a this is going to be a hard strength check. So I'm going to add three to that. So can you beat a nine? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, these guys These guys have you completely grappled. It's a hard strength check to get away. Oh, and they're going to start they're going to start moving you off into the corner as well. Jesus. God, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh it's man. All right. All right, that's going to bring us back to to preach. You're Come you're grappled by hard that makes it now a 17 to get out right yeah and you can you can see Ther theron like whispering in your ear he's like i have you know the moment i saw you i i knew i knew that oh. you would you would be a tasty meal indeed 
and it will be such a pleasure to <coughs> rid the world of another priest. Mm. So am I up? Yep, it's you. I'll say, well, eat this, and I'll pull my, I'll pull my little heat out, and it's it's automatically hits at close range, and I'll blast her in the face. Okay. Deal weapon. Deal deal. Uh, damage. You're still grappled, so you can't move. Yep, that, I figured that. Eight oh. points of oh, actually, uh, sorry, that's twelve points of damage in her face. Oh, he he screams and backs off. Okay, so now the check is just going to be normal. Okay, for to get free. So give me give me that strength check. All right. Whew. Nice. Oh nice. my god! Amazing. Holy crap. Okay, take take back your hero coin and you get a movement if you wish. I'm going to move to my weapons. Okay. You're able to like and grab jump my thump gun. Okay, you're able to like jump over the table, sl smash the food across, grab your thump gun. All right, well done, Mugen. Uh, did Preach use his D8 for the regen? Oh no, I haven't done that yet. Okay. Should I roll it? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm back to full. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank right, you. And. Uh, Mugen will transform into Dire Bear. <laughs> and I guess uh, movement, he too will make his way towards the weapon. Okay. Oh, you mean you also regen if you got hurt. Actually, you know what? He's not going to make, make a move. Because that leaves too many people open. So he's just going to like either push her back or just make sure she doesn't get away from him. And that'll be his turn. Okay. Alright, so give me a strength check to push her away. Yep. Oh. Nice. Okay. That brings us to Scourge. You have this lady on, on your back. So she's attached. It's going to be a hard uh, sh uh, strength or dex to get her off. Uh, but otherwise, she's going to stay there. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm at 7 of 10. Um, all right. Um... Uh, it was eight o'clock, right? Roughly, yeah. The drapes are all drawn, right? Um, they're they're kind of open because it's they're letting the moonlight in. Okay, so okay. Hmm. Could I try to throw this lady out the window? Uh, you can try. Like I said, hard strength. She's kind of like latched onto your back, and her fangs are in your neck. <laughs> Let me just see how. Okay. I'm, oh, right. I have zero strength. All right. Um. <laughs> Huh. Uh, so, okay, we had ruled, I think, in, in a game with Burger that Adam Palm also hits my allies. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, but they do have regen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't move, though. I can't even get away. No, it's not worth it because I can't. You can move. You can, yeah, you can move. It's just she's on your back. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so she's kind of like on your back with her fangs in her in your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like if I moved, if I moved like over here and just Adam palmed over here, I would still get Mujan, unfortunately. I think, right? Yeah. But I would get like everybody around here, basically. Roughly, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> it's, it's it's potentially big AOE. I think I think I have to try. I'm gonna I'm gonna she's on my back. I'm gonna attempt to Adam Palm. Basically like I'm gonna attempt Adam Palm like on this uh person over here. Uh-huh. Basically, yeah. Like right on top of them. Okay. Uh okay, here we go. Um 
16 prayers, 32 blessings, 64 trials, 128 <laughs> tribulations. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, it's a 12. Oh, man. Oh, uh, he even said the thing and it didn't work. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be, e it'll be easy on your next turn. Word. Oh, yeah. Also, get away from me. I'm going to Adam Paul. <laughs> Okay. That's my whole strat here. All right, Gilda. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, is, is this dude still, like, trying to get at me, right? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to, like, kick away from him, dart in between these two, and get over to a preach over here. I don't okay. have any weapons in the weapon rack, but I'm still kind of, you know, trying to maybe support him. And as I get over there, I'm going to be like, uh, hey, preach. I think maybe we're going to start wanting to run for the windows here. <laughs> this may I'll, not I'll be I'll give open. a nod, but I'll point to the, the people that are dragging off. I'm like, I think we got to help. Yeah, you yeah, hear shit, you hear, okay, you hear these two screaming. This this one over here is 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 not screaming. He seems to be, you know, mm. excited about the whole thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. You um, know, I'm not here to king shame, you know. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna back away from weird guy a little bit and uh, try to see if I can. Oh, my arms hex goes off on on old man again. Okay. Okay, five. All right. And then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna recast arms hex on the on the old lady. Okay. That one, yep. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna use two more blood points to boost this roll, just in case. Uh. Oh damn. Okay, that's only a uh, an eleven. Oh miss. But it'll be easy on the next one for sure. Okay, yeah. Try trying to cast that and just definitely back and preach up <laughs> over in this kind of disturbingly crowded corner. Very nice. Okay. All right, that's going to bring us back to me. The timer is going to drop down from two to one. Your guys' regeneration timer drops from five to four. Okay. This guy is going to drink again. Uh, he's already taken, was it? I think he's taken five points there. Um, he's going to roll. Oh. Okay. This, this guy slumps. As the blood, dry, you know, his face goes white. He just slumps, slumps on the ground. And this guy... Heals back up. Okay, these two are going to uh, drink from them. Five on each of them. You can hear Eva scream and her friend yell as they're getting... No! As they're getting pulled. Oh, Jesus. Pulled, no. pulled away from you guys as, as they're kind of like dragged on the floor with their fangs in their throats. Okay. Uh. Um, this one is going to just do another six drain from Scourge. Okay. And this old man stands up and he's like, guys, I see you magic user and he raises his hand and casts Arn Hex on Scourge. That's not good. Okay, that's a 15. Oh, no. Jesus. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, one... no, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it is against Target. It is against yep, Target, Yep, against Target. Right? Yep. Wow. One yeah. round. One round. So only this will happen. Uh, so he's going to take magic, which is a d10. Scourge takes another eight points of damage from Arn's Hex. So I go to zero. I yes. go to zero. Yeah. But you are regenerating. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so with with that one, it's definitely gonna like regenerate, but it's gonna make coming like coming back and forth from unconscious to regenerating, like it's gonna make things harder. Mm. Okay. Okay. But you won't be you won't have a dying timer. Yeah. yeah. So my item palm won't be easy next turn, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Um, then we've got these guys who are all there, and he's going to back off too. Um, this guy is pissed, jumps at Preach. These guys come around as well. Um, you can see them kind of backing off, and these guys move. Uh, they're kind of there. Two more step in, and then these three approach Mugen. Two. Okay, so we're going to do three attacks on Mugen. One, two, three. Oh, jeez. Only one Just... of them hits. Yes. Okay, that's three points of damage. Okay, and then give me a, a hard strength check. Uh, that's plus three. Okay, these guys have you have you grappled as well. I no, think no. I will use my hero coin on this. Okay. Oh no! no. All right. Oh. <clears throat> these guys are gonna come go for Gilda. One, two, three. Oh only no! One, only one hits. No. Actually, that two, yeah, only one you. hits, and so we got one. Wait, what? What? Uh, what bonus do these oh, guys have? No. They have a plus. They have a plus f uh, four. Okay, so that an eight would have hit. And I give it to you, the tie goes to you. Oh, okay. Okay, but you take sixteen points of damage. Bulwark, you're bulwarked. <laughs> yes. Down to four. Okay, then give me a strength check, a hard strength check. Uh, yee. Nope. Okay, so you are also grappled. And they're gonna they're gonna start tugging you away from Preach. Uh, and then three attacks on Preach. Only hmm. uh what's what's your armor? Twelve. Okay, so two hits. One, two. That's seven points of damage on Preach. And give me a, a hard strength check. Oh no, this is terrible. No way. Okay. Mm. And they're just dragging you guys you off in the other direction. So they're just slowly pulling everybody away from each other. Mm. Okay. Alright. Okay. Last last round. You can see that, that uh Lord Dravond Dr has, you know, is again cheer you know, calling out and he's like feast Feast upon the innocence. And you can see that he's he's kind of starting to conjure up uh, something. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's going to bring us back to Preach. So, far range. Is Scourge in far range? Uh, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whisper the words of Healing Nova and hopefully get everybody. Okay. Got it. 14 nice. on the button. Oof. Four. Six. Six uh, heals health back to everyone. Okay. The you, scores are back up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just slowly working through. These guys, you notice as the healing wave works through it, some of them hiss. And burn at the as the wave passes over them. Oh, interesting! Huh? Like physically burn? The, yeah, you see that the smoke, like kind of chars off their skin. Oh, okay. Interesting. Here's the key, my friends. Heal them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. These guys are healed better. Sorry, you guys can keep going while I do this. Like, way to go. Uh, Mugen, what do you want to do? Oh, and if you uh, want to make a strength check, if you want to make a hard strength check, you can try to break free. Uh, Ready? well, Mugen, seeing that happen, is going to, like, not completely, like, relax, but relax in their arms, look the one vampire in the eyes, and cast uh, 
with the amber beads regen. On which one? The one right in the middle, the uh, the woman. Oh, right here? Correct. Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh, just got it. Nice. Okay. Yep. So, D, so one, uh, how many rounds? Uh, next round, it starts, but a D8. Okay. So, yeah, she'll take D8, D8 uh, for the next however many rounds. But by the way, Kane, do I get a, a regen on myself for yes. that my round oh, that I roll yeah. that? Yeah. All right, now I'm full. I'm full health again. <laughs> and I'll just sit there and kind of like smile and relax in their arms as they're, you know, be kind of backing off from that last uh, healing Nova. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mujin, you also regen if you want her. I'm at full. I'm at okay, uh, 20 plus 10. Cool. Okay, excellent. All right, Mugen. Uh, that was you, Scourge. So then I'm going to regen... Still not a full. <laughs> With eight. Uh, You're not zero, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kane, it's a free action to consume food, right? Yes. I'm going to captain's rations. And because I have the, the goblet, it does, it does double. So I have to... Yeah, I guess I'm at full. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gobble no, gobble no, Odin. Um, all right. Uh, get up, stand up, stand up for my life. Well, uh, man. Uh, can I? Oh man. Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I don't know if I can save these two, but I will try. Mm -hmm. She's still on my back, but I'm gonna move yes. here. I guess here, I'm just going to move in the middle of everyone and be like, well, um, I noticed uh, you don't do too good with healing, and I'm going to use my one charge of healing Nova okay. right here. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, wait, so it does, it does magic effort, right? Yes. It, it'll do a die, tw it'll do all ultimate, because I cast oh. an ultimate uh, healing. Oh, so we'll do, we'll do ultimate. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, and it uses my ultimate, so it's plus one. Yep, go for it. Nine. Woo! Okay. All right. These guys are now at 15. We'll just go through. I'll just slowly work through that. Um, way, way to go. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> uh, excellent. So yeah, you the wave goes out, and you can see more smoke is is billowing off of these guys, and there it's enough that these guys get released, and they start oh, scrambling thank, away. Thank God. Are they healed? They're healed too from that nova, right? Yeah, yeah I was gonna are. say they're healed to full. Yeah. I'm realizing now I. Because I forgot that I didn't have to roll to cast healing over, so I probably didn't have to eat that captain's rations. But whatever. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I made my choice. <laughs> That's okay. the end of my turn. <laughs> all right. Uh, that brings us to Gilda. All right. Well, do we think we're gonna be able to kill all of these vampires? Is the I'm gonna try or die? I mean, right. <laughs> I can regen three at a time. Yeah. Uh, which is do, do wild. The big guy. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, for sure. Right, right, right. Yeah, I currently have the uh, four health. Okay, can okay, I'll I'll be be right back. You regen, so, okay. Don't forget, you're gonna regen this round. We'll regen this round. Right, right, right. Yeah. So and these guys it. have relatively low health here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try to break free. Okay, strength. I'm gonna check. spend. Yep, I'm going to spend all six of the hit points in my master's goal. And I'll even spend one hit point of my own hit points, bringing me down to three. So I have plus seven. Okay. Well, nice. Okay, sick. Yep. Okay, so you're going to move in an action. And then don't forget to regen. Yeah, I'm running over here. How much do you regen? Uh, D8. Right. Right, yeah. Okay, uh, can, uh, I'll roll that right now. Then. Okay. 
Whoa, up to six, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm running over here. Um, I'm gonna cast a Vampiric Ray on uh, one of those three who was, you know, on me. Mm -hmm. Don't have any boosting I can do, so. Okay, yep. Okay. 16. All right. Um. They take 11 and I heal back to full. Okay. Okay. Way to go. One vampire is down. And as the one drops, you see that the others are starting to kind of... They want to live. They're not here to, to die. Okay. Um... So the timer is going to drop I just from... Killed a vampire with vampiric ray. <laughs> okay. We're going to drop from one to zero. And so Dravond looks at you and it calls out. It appears we've welcomed some holy, um, holy priests into our into our works. Healers. Uh missionaries the the like we can't we can't have that in our halls it's unnatural <laughs> so he's going to you're going to start oh glyphs appear on the walls around uh around the room glowing red with fire that's not good Okay, and you immediately, you immediately feel the healing uh, nature of your spells diminish. You feel the the boost of regeneration dwindling. Uh, as long as you're in this room, healing magic is nullified. Oh no! Completely? Completely. Oh. Okay, wow. but you have you have done quite a lot of damage to these vampires, and they are on their heels. The ones that are not actively attacking are on their heels because they they don't uh, they do they do not want to die. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yes, while in this while in this room. Okay. At this point, we're gonna have. You know, these guys are, are going to run. They're going to start running for the door. Uh, this yeah, one's we got to get out of here. This one's going to uh, drive her teeth more into uh, Scourge. Mm -hmm. Five points of damage. Yeah. She doesn't have to roll to, to hit me, right? Because she's no. grappling me. Yes. Yeah. Word. Okay, I'm going to roll another timer. Timer of one. Okay, and then these guys are going to make one final effort um, on Preach. One, two, three. Uh, one hits. Okay. For two points of damage, and then they're going to drain you for th another three. I'm down to five. Okay. All right, these three are going to attack Mugen. One, two, three. Oh, One hit. No. no. Uh, no. That's 13 points of damage on Mugen. I am down to 17 human points. Uh, dwarf <laughs> points. Okay. And then they're going to drain you for one. On top of? Yep. They, yeah. they, they were scratching, clawing at you, and then they drank your blood. Okay. Um, that's going to be it for me. Again, you see that these vampires are there. Um, backing off. They're kind of there, hissing and jumping up on the tables. But you see these these six vampires at the head of the room are just 
stand, kind of standing there over, overlooking everything. Okay. It's going to bring us back to Preach. So can we, is this door open? It's not like warded shut, right? Yeah, Over nothing's, here. yeah. All right. I think we got to get out of here. Can, can I move to the door and try to get out? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I can't go healing at all, right? I can't even cast healing magic. Yeah. You could, it just wouldn't have any effect in this room. All right, so I'm that. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'll go to here and I'm gonna cast Bulwark. Who, who's the got the lowest health? Mm, probably uh, Gilda. What are you at? I'm currently at one heart. Oh, so then me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw try to throw a Bulwark on you as I get to the door. Okay. Did it? The extra oh, ten health. Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Take a hero coin. I, I already got one. So. All right, well, you would have earned one. <laughs> All right. Okay, perfect. Uh, Mugen. You kind of. Uh, are the runes. Are they. Like a part of the wall, or are they like transposed onto the wall? Like... They're kind of like. When he cast it, they you saw that it like burnt and etched into the wall, and the rune itself is kind of like on fire. Okay. Uh, so it's not something that I would just be able to like scratch off really quick. Yeah. And... Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> I think Mugen will die bear and try to wrestle his way towards the door. Okay. All right. Uh, hard strength. Yep. Oh, uh, that's the fail. Okay. Yep. You turn it. You you do turn into a dire bear, and they they kind of are a little wary of you. It'll be easy next turn um, to try to es try to escape their grasp if they haven't already let go. Okay. Um, Scourge. I, uh, I grabbed Javon by the front of his shirt. <laughs> This is more like for narrative. This isn't like my action. Just okay. Like, um, this is, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be like, you know, everything must die, even that which is undead. But not everything truly gets to live. And I'm going to Adam Palm again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so it's not easy, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You rolled more ones today. Oh, how does this happen? Wow. Okay. So he, I you, did roll 20 before, though, right? So I, do have a, I did get a mastery, actually. Yeah. So he, as you that. as you start to, like, summon the magic, he just, like, grips your wrist, and you can feel his inhuman strength, you know, as he just, mm -hmm. like, grips it. Okay. Um, and he, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat another captain's rations. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, no, I still can't because I'm below... Even though I'm bulwarked. Okay, so I heal for two more. Okay. Alright, okay. he's going to toss you in a random direction. That's fair. Okay, so it's going to be one is north, two is uh, east, south is three, and four is out the window to the west. Wouldn't be Big so bad four. out the window. Big four, baby. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's throwing you in our direction. Well, he threw me far. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> he just gripped you by the wrist and tossed you, okay, and you slam, you slam into the wall, okay, and you are going to take, yep. I, gonna... I cough up blood anime style. Yep, you're going to take six, six points of damage as you fall to the floor. Yeah, that really... yeah, I know, that's true, it does bulwark, that's true. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
Uh, the, my shell does scrunch under my back, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's going to be bring us to Gilda. All right, well... I Last session, I while we were in the... Um, Oh, it was some kind of like drug den underneath, um, underneath the city. Uh -huh. uh, which, 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 damn! Which city was the one that got messed up by the dragon? Gray. Or the dragon gray. Underneath gray, there was like this weird drug den, and I got this potion called the fuzzy truffle. Okay. When you drink it, it has a fifty-fifty chance of giving you plus one intelligence or minus one intelligence. Okay. I'm gonna pull it out and just kind of look at it for a second, and then pop off the cork and swig it. So, is that just a d6 roll? Yeah. One, two, one, two, or three is uh, minus one. Skull four. dice, and if it comes up skull, it's bad. Oh right. Not right, right, right. good. Bad. Okay, so I'm currently now only a plus one intelligence. So that's okay. That gives me the the cockiness to jump right in between <laughs> these two and that guy and then wait so vampiric ray still works even because it's like not technically healing magic even though it can heal you or does it not work um because i mean it's it's vampire -y. yeah it i think that one would work still okay cool it's not like i have to heal or anything yet but i'm gonna cast vampiric ray on this weird looking weird looking guy in front of me uh-huh Okay, yep, 19. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Only four damage. Okay. Not quite dead, but you can see that he's draining. We get, we got to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, the timer is going to tick down to one i mean from one to zero okay and at this point the six figures here you know move away from their temp their table and they start they start moving in um these you know dravon kind of like notches to them and these two like flash over to gilda in a flash of, of smoke okay oh and shit he guys he moves over here and this one, you know, comes over to Mugen, the bear. All right. Get out of there, Mugen. <laughs> okay, Mugen is going to take three attacks oh, from the uh, from the lesser vampires. One, two, three. Woof. Oh, man. All, all of three them hit. hit. Yeah, all of them hit 18 and higher. The other ones hit two. Those That's a 23 and a 14. So, anything above a fourteen right now because the shield's on the other side of the room. Okay, so you're gonna take four hits. One, two, three, four. That is eight, fourteen points of damage. Okay, I am down to. And they're gonna they're gonna drain you of some blood. Sixteen. One, two. They're gonna drain you of ten points of blood. Oh my that was god! Sick. That was a brutal assault. We Jesus. got to go. <laughs> okay. Then yeah. This, this one is here is gonna come up to Gilda, and they're gonna attack twice. Shit. That is an eighteen and a thirteen. Okay, they both hit. Okay. Um, then that's going to be one, two. Okay, that's going to be eight points. All right, give me a contested strength check against a 20. Uh, okay, wait, so how much damage did I take? Eight. Uh, damn. Oh, shit. Wait, can I spend one of my blood points to boost the roll by one? Go for it. Okay, so I'm going to spend one of my two existing hit points. 
to to hit a twenty. <laughs> okay. All right. So you are able to. You're not able to get away, but you're not able. They don't. They're not able to pull you either way either. You're slippery. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna roll one more timer. Okay. And then the target is gonna move up to fifteen. All right, and these guys continue running. And they don't even, you know, they they just run right past you out of the room. Yeah, they should. Yeah. Like I thought there were vampires running at me. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see Eva's crying and the other guy is, like, scared out of his mind. I'll say run. Run for your lives. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's go to preach. Uh, I'm gonna try to bulwark Gilda and then run. So, nope. Uh, I'm gonna use my hero coin. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah, thanks. Uh, got it. An extra ten hit hits. Very nice. And then I'm. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna we're gonna move we're gonna move you guys to the court. The we're gonna have you be in the courtyard. Okay. Okay. So these guys are not there. Uh -huh. The footmen are all have all disappeared. They, they've all been eaten. <laughs> they've all left the, the vampires to their privacy. Okay. To the carriages. To the carriages. Okay, so we're gonna just move, just getting everybody settled so we can see there. So you can see, you can see them running for for a carriage as well. All right, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. All right, Mugen. All right. Um, get out is, of here, <laughs> Is this the last round of regen? Oh no, regen is gone. Re I think the glyphs took down regen. Get outside yeah, and, right, and yeah. we, we can heal if we get outside. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna have to go dire bear strength again. Okay. I have to get out of here. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Do you have a hero point? No. You can have mine. But are you sure? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Oh, plus three, fourteen. Oh, oh, so damn. close. All right. Uh, you can see Mugen is starting to just get uh, tugged back, even in a bear. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all he could do. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it'll be his turn. Scourge. Um, preaches. Preaches has left the building. Hmm. Muge is, is getting pulled back the other way. Gilda is protected. What do you want to do? Is Gilda protected though? He I just have... got. Yeah, this, he's got holy. She got bulwarked. So, but yeah, but she. But like, if she doesn't get out of here, this. Oh, but oh, Gilda, you could just run this round. You're not grappled. Right. Uh, I'm not grappled. No. <sighs> All right. I think yeah, this I should can. work, Kane. I think okay. So, swarm. If I actually see, okay, the word in a swarm says close target. So, if I actually swarm um, Mujen, would I just get all the vampires around around them and not actually the swarm won't attack Mujen? I'll just get all the vampires. All right. So define where is swarm coming from. Uh. I mean, in my head, it's like, since I have this, like, nanomachine thing, also, um, okay. from, like, a different thing, uh -huh. in my head, it's just, like, conjure the nanomachines, like, and then they attack everything in a close area. I'm trying to ping, sorry. No, you're good. I'm just trying to find the reference where, like, what item is that. And... Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a whiz power that I got from loot. Okay. It says, cast on a scene area, close targets are magically damaged for 1d4 rounds. Okay. So if I cast it on Mujan, um, it says it says targets. 
could I choose for Mujin to be immune to the damage? I guess oh. The I it, I think it's it's more of a you'd have to give me uh, probably a, your a hero coin because it's targets. You choose the area, and everybody in that area is attacked. Okay, I don't have one, but <laughs> <laughs> if I did, I would. <laughs> okay. You can still um, you can still do it though, and Mugen will take some damage, but as long as he's in that area. How much, how much health does Mugen have left? I have six dwarf, ten bear. So he could take he could take some damage. <sighs> yeah. Uh, but but the question is, are you gonna? I mean, these things are tough. Five vamps. So is it worth you know? Oh man. I. These things okay, are tough. Okay, um, grappled. I don't have any strength. I'm a monk. I, is Mujin being grappled by like one of them or like multiples of them? All five of them. All right. Maybe they'll like melt your head off. Who knows? You know what? I, I I'm sorry, Mujin, but I'm gonna try this. I will attempt swarm. <laughs> Okay. I don't. I, I I don't think I have a better move. Uh, so here we go. I'll just grin and bear it. <laughs> Damn, it didn't work anyway. <laughs> it didn't work anyway. Uh, did you say you're gonna do what now? I was attempting swarm basically on the everyone on everyone close to Mujan. No, Mujan said they were gonna. Grin and uh, he's gonna, oh, yeah, no, no yeah. Intended, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, I'm gonna take my common shield out of here, okay? And this, this, this might sound crazy, but I'm gonna yell to the, the two of you, like, you guys have to live, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, oh man, I'm just gonna move in. I'm gonna move up next to the guild. like, you, you two of you have to live, you guys gotta get out of here, uh, and that's it. Okay. All right, Gilda, you're free. You're not grappled, but you're standing next to two great vampire lords. Right, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. Well, damn. <laughs> um, I'm, I have a little bit of extra health at the moment. Mm -hmm. We got these, you know, bastards up here. Um, I could try to cast something on the vampires around Mugen and then just get out. Or I could try to, I don't know, dive out the window or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't really want to abandon I mean, Mugen right now. If you can cast something and get out, I think that's pretty good. Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Orange hex one of them? I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm probably gonna like take cover. I I'm gonna I'm gonna take another turn just to see what happens, but I'm gonna i I'm gonna get over here. Or like kind of run over to this far wall. Uh-huh. And cast um Arn's hex on one of the uh one of the further ones. One of the two nobles. On these ones over here? Um, no, the ones that are on Mugen. Oh, on Mugen? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, 16. Okay. We'll say it's on this guy here. Um, yeah. 9 damage. Nine Actually, dam 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. Yeah, you see that the, the hex hits him and he starts to flake as well. All right. There we Time, go. Timer's going to drop from three to two. These guys are going to um, circle around. Oh, no. <laughs> Scourge. Um, you can see that <clears throat> this guy... 
flashes over to, to Gilda here. Um, and then these guys start closing in. <laughs> you can see that they're getting getting antsy. No bueno. Okay. All right. Two big attacks on Scourge. One, two. Bring it on. That is a 14 and a 17. The, they both miss. They both, <laughs> they both miss. Oh. Okay. Give me oh. a contested strength roll against an 18. Oh, God. Natural 18 or better. Uh, not even close. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then they're going to drain you for three points of damage. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Dravond, he's going to come up, and he's going to attack Gilda directly. Okay. Oh, dear. That is a 25. The, the big boy. Yeah, yeah, no, that hits. Okay. Um, he is going to hit... <laughs> with eight. Oh no. Okay. And oh, then give no. me a contested strength roll against a fifteen. Okay. Um, I currently have three health. Against a against an against a what? He is a, a great vampire lord. Oh uh, no! I, against oh, like what, 15. what? What target? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, I have a cloak of the hidden, and I never wrote down what exactly that does. Let me find it. Just out of, I don't know if it would help in this particular like moment, but I was curious. Um, uh, let's see. Cloak of the hidden. It sounds like the thing Harry Potter had. <laughs> I just gotta see if it's something that somebody made up on the spot or. I don't remember it from an ice RPG table. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh wait, is it like cloak of like the spell the hidden? Um, I don't. It could be. Um, I actually got it spell. in the game that cloak ran a few <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> um, I will see if I can dig that up. Okay, here's here's what it does. Um, activate to turn invisible at the beginning of your next turn for 1d4 rounds or t until you take damage. Take or deal damage. Okay, cool. So let me... Um, I'll, anyway. I'll, I'll copy this into the chat so that you can see it. Right. Um, anyway, yeah, so that consistent strength roll. I'm trying to decide whether I want to bend two of my three remaining hit points on the... Uh, on the uh, on, to boost it because I don't have a strength bonus. That's a good question. Well, if you do that, you can try to get to the door at least. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not like I wouldn't die if I got hit again anyway. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend two of my three remaining hit points. Uh huh. Um. And I'm gonna try to. Yeah, try to try to try to try to beat this fifteen. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. I'm okay. like scrambling up against this wall. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna drain you for three points of damage. Yeah. Um, Either way. <laughs> sideways. Okay. Um, and then we got six attacks going on Mugen. Five oh, attacks, sorry. Oh my god. This three is not at, good. three at plus four. One, two, three. Nope, those don't hit. Holy crap. Okay, and two at plus seven. One, two. No! <laughs> no! I... No! Six. One. So seven, oh! seven points of damage on Mugen. Oh, the swing of the D12. Wow. Holy that's... crap. And then you, he's nice. drained of five points of damage. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Wait, uh, seven points originally and then five after? Yes. Yeah. 
You're at one. You're at one. Uh, no. I seven four, at first. So that's three. It left me with three, and then five from from nine in total. So four. Okay. Okay. And you've spent your bear. You, yeah, you've gotten. You've spent your extra bear heart. So you're just five left. No, I'm at four now. I four spent now. my bear heart. Got yeah. it. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> preach. We're gonna come back to you. You're out. These guys are. So are these? Do these uh, coaches have like little flaming lanterns on them? Yes. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna run and grab the lanterns off this coach here. Okay. And does this building have anything that looks like it's burnable? It's a <laughs> castle, so I'm, you could light something on fire. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna go here, grab these lanterns, and then I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna ca I'm gonna cast a okay. regeneration on myself just to start the healing process. Okay. But I'm pulling off the lanterns. Okay. So yep. All right, for D four rounds. So give me a D four. One round. Maybe one round. Starting next turn. Okay. All right. That's going to bring us back to Mugen. All right. Mugen is going to. Oh. Build this down. If you, if you break free, just grab. Uh, if you just grab Guild and run if you can. Yep. I guess that's. What I'm gonna do. You know, big F, but <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm gonna try to break free and grab Gilda. Okay. And that's a plus three, so I got that. Nice. And I will grab Gilda. And I can't imagine I can move anywhere other than maybe like a foot away from this guy. Out the window? Yeah, you could go out the window if you wanted. <laughs> go out the window. Oh, all right. I will back to the window and slam my body through pulling Gilda as well. Okay, you guys are going to be out the window. Whew. Hell yeah. Okay, and then you guys are going to fall down onto this roof below. Okay, I need you to give me a defense save. Oh, shit. Nice. Okay, so you're... Okay, there we go. Yeah, your def you, you make it, you land, and your defense is able to resist as you smash into the into the building dare i say snuggle so saw. is that like yes. down by the the town yeah you're you've fallen down down a little bit and now you're on the edge of the town oh nice okay cool all right that that brings us to scourge take take, uh. a, hero, take a hero coin by the way mugen <laughs> Alright. Well, if if they didn't get out, I was gonna do some real dumb reckless shit. But now uh I still might. I'm gonna eat a side of beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm healed to full. Okay. Um so I'm down to two servings of that. Uh Okay. Um Alright. Uh yeah, I mean, okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna look at the vampires and be like, you'll remember this as the day you almost caught Scourge, and I'm gonna jump out the window. <laughs> All right. Scourge sounds like a venereal disease. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a defense save, uh, Scourge. My mother hated me. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, that's, uh, 22. Okay. All right. So you, you, you save, you, you slam into the building next to them. Um, but you're, you're able to avoid any damage. God, do I still have it? Oh, do I still have an action? Actually? Uh, what do you want to was do? That just a ne was that just a near move? I would have, uh, I would have, I would have cast regen on all of us. Okay, it's going to be hard. Sure, I'll still go for it. Okay. So 18, whiz roll, here we go. Nope, there's another one! <laughs> I wish I got mastery for that once. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, um, for, for the nat for the nat one, I'm gonna incur just like the 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 stress of it. Give me a D4. Okay. For four rounds, all spell casting will be hard. Fair enough. Jumping out of a window after being in a fight with some vampires is stressful business. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. Sorry, I keep flipping back and forth because now you guys are out of this room. Um. Gilda, give me a D4. Oh, yep. Shit. One. <laughs> Alright, give me a D20 for a miracle. Nope. Okay. So, at the end of your next turn, if someone hasn't healed you, or done a don't die on me, or you I'll haven't rolled a D20, you will be dead. Nice. Okay. These guys, you don't know exactly what it is, but uh, these guys pour out. Oh, God. Wow, that's a little bit organized. Yeah, these guys pour out after out into the room here, and you see from above, uh, you see a group you know, a small group here. Let's see. Do they come in? Um, you see them kind of billow out in a cloud of smoke after you guys. Yeah. They will be here in one round. But... The ones attacking Preach will be there immediately. Okay, these guys are already there. Um, Fred, I'm hiding. Okay. <laughs> um, give me a, a hard dex check to stay stealthy. And buy yourself a Actually, I'm not, I'm not hiding. I'm not okay. really is it, is it my uh, Is it my turn? No, they're going to... If that's the case, they're going to have a couple attack you. We're going to have three come in. We're going to send this guy instead. You can hear this guy yelling commands like he's in charge. Um, so one, two, three. Nope. Nothing hits. Yes. Okay. Um... That's going to bring us back to... You guys you got one round, and these vampires will arrive. Well, well here well, I'm at the top of the round. Put, put me back. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Oh yeah. No Splitting the party. Somebody split sorry. the party. <laughs> All these split guys had to the go party. out the window. <laughs> so. All right, split I'm gonna cast a holy a holy nova. Okay. Because they're all out here. Uh huh. I'll try. Got it. Nice. And it is for 11. And I'm using my hero coin for another die 12. 15 points of damage. Your healing Nova blasts through these vampires and just completely vaporizes the lot. Now that they are outside Free. of that healing protection, uh, they just. Pfft, I'm going to use my, my I'm going to use my move to hop up on this carriage here. Okay. 
but there is one vampire who remains who seems to be unaffected. I see him. <laughs> okay. So are you going to start driving? Uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leap up on there and I'm going to whip the, ho the horse. Okay. The horse rears and then it starts moving and you can start moving out the way that you came. Ahead, you see in the distance another carriage bustling down the road. As this, you know, you see another one that was toppled over as these guys crashed into it. Okay, take a hero coin. Yep. And then don't Thank forget you. to don't forget to heal. You oh, one, that's right. Let me do the dying. Oh, nice. Now I'm full. <laughs> okay, Mugen. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Gorgeous up next. My spell cast is hard though. And but we have to get a don't die on me on him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would I would probably I'm not gonna yeah, cast on my turn. If you I mean unless you unless you get killed up. So Alright, cause I was alright. Um Alright, I'll I'll do a don't die on me and can I drag Gilda as far as I can yes. either way? Yes, you can drag her. It's just going to be a whiz or int check for don't die on me. And that's plus three. Very nice. Okay, so Gilda, you are, the dying timer is gone. You are still down. You just need to take a recovery action or get some healing or eat some food. And then you can okay jesus yep thanks and how far can i move um so you can you can hop down from the building and either kind of end up here or end up down here i think i will head east okay um and I would I wouldn't be able to turn into a die bear this round, correct? No, because the, the don't die me was your action. Alright. Uh Yeah. That's it. Okay. Scourge. Gilda is groggy but awake and living. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Um Oh. Uh... Okay, I'm going to strike my staff into the ground here. Okay. <laughs> and just be like, none shall pass. <laughs> and uh, this is such a dumb idea. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast quickness on myself. Okay. Or attempt to. It's hard. So I need eight. So I need a natural fourteen. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now you can move anywhere Damn you it. want for one round. Um. So I'm gonna be like, after me, vamps, come get some of this torn meat, <laughs> and I'm gonna go here. Okay. Split the party more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to lure them. My intention is to lure them away. Okay, give me a charisma roll. Here we go. Oh, oh, come on! Nope. They, come on! They, they see through your bluff. They are going to focus everything they have on Mugen and Gilda. Oh, I'm done, no. I've done nothing but support Rune Hammer, and why does the VTT hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fan oh. of his products, and you know, all right. Mugen knows that <laughs> Scourge is trying to lure them away, correct? He, well... He hears you, I, but yeah. But it just, I would have made it clear, yeah. If I that's know. the case, then I'll give my hero coin up. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I, I do have flat charisma, so I don't know. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yes! Oh. Let's go! Okay. All right, so there's there's ten vampires. So we're going to out of the ten, how many are going to get drawn to Scourge? Nine of them. Nice. What? Amazing. Okay. 
all right, that brings us to Gilda. Oh damn! So I currently have white, uh, like one health. No, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you need to recover to get some more, eat some food or get healed. But you're, yeah, but you're able to do some stuff. But yeah, you have one. Can I see the vampires right now? Yes, you see this smoky trail of these vampires coming out in their mist um, as they fly out of the out of the building towards you quickly. Are they close enough to cast a spell on? Um, depends on the spell. Uh, Vampiric Ray. Um, yeah, you could probably get one of them. Okay, I'm going to try to vampire one of the... I'm going to try to maybe hit one of like the slightly more beat-up looking ones, if I can even tell. Go for it. Nope. Just like groggily trying to cast a spell, but I like stumble over sideways. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's going to bring us to these guys. Travon flies down, slams into the ground next to you guys. Shit. And all nine of these guys move up to Scourge. They just drop in Death Eater style. Okay. They swoop as and it's it's not like they some drop in, swum, sw some swoop by. Okay, so you've got three great vampires and uh, six lesser vampires. So let's do the six lesser as they try to claw at you. Uh, I one, can never two, die. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. One, two, three. Hmm. That's anything. The lowest one was a sixteen. What's your armor? My armor's 18, so... Alright, so one hit with a nat 20. I'm gonna deflect the nat... I'm gonna sack my shield to deflect that nat 20. Okay. Very nice. And now we got three great vampires, plus seven. One, ah. two, three. The real fun begins. So That's nine, two hits. 19 and 15. Okay. One, oh, wait, does, wait, 15? No, no, 19 and uh, 19 and a 25, sorry. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, so five, five points of damage against you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need you to give me a contested strength check against a... Let's 20, go! 21. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I don't have any strength. Uh -huh. Oh, Oh, man. All right, I'm going to... I For the nat 20, I'm going to reduce the amount of... Uh, that you take. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna t you're only gonna take half of this. Okay. Okay. That's gonna be down so by. Take one. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah round it down to one. Or. Yeah. Okay, so you so take I'll... one one point one point of additional damage as as they those around you heal. All right. I'm bloody again. Okay. All right. Dravond comes up. He's going to strike at Mugen with a 19. That's a hit. He's going to deal 11 points of damage. Mugen is down. Okay, and then Gilda, I need you. Oh to, no! I need you to give me a contested strength check against a 23. Oh Jesus! No, I mean I, I can't even make that. Um, wait. Oh, shit. On my last turn, I should have activated the cloak. Mm. I'm gonna activate the cloak now. Okay, so on the next, on your ne the beginning of your next turn, you'll be invisible. Yep. Uh, contested strength check, though. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I can't, there's no way I can make it. Yeah. Um, right. Wait, so does, does activating the cloak use my turn? Um, I'll just, I can, what did you, action. what do you want to do? Um, I was thinking I would just, well, I guess, yeah, never mind. Using the healer's case is probably like a sit down and yeah. do it type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't do anything. He I drains, mean, I, he, sorry. Yeah. I can't really do like a, um, you know, don't die on me man roll from you, Jen, right? Can I? Uh, on your turn. Grappled. On your turn. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's his turn right now. Turn. Right, 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 right. All right, so he drains you for one point of damage. That is enough to knock me again. Okay. 
All right, and then we're going to move back up to Preach, who has this guy. He's going to fly over and, like, climb, clamber onto the back with his claws, and he's going to try to strike at you with a 15. 13. Yeah, 13. 13, that hits. Okay, three points of damage. Okay. Okay, and I contest his strength check against uh, 13. Nope. Okay, he's going to toss you off in a random direction. Two, which is this way. Yes. <laughs> okay, the, car, the horses are coming. Give me a dex save or be overrun by the carriage. That's a 13, so no. Do you have a hero coin? I do. That makes it. Okay. So you, the horses come by, he jumps off, but the carriage runs on, and you narrowly miss the stamping uh, hooves of the horses. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'll roll my other timer because that was when they were there. Four rounds. Okay. This will be the session end timer as the sun begins to rise. Okay, if you can last through the night, the vampires will have to retreat. All right, preach. Uh, I get my regeneration, my one round of regeneration. Yep, this is your the only round. Back to full. Uh, and then I'm going to... I'm going to try to throw a regeneration on him. Okay. And then run. Uh, that's uh, 18. It hits him. All right. Give me a D4. Okay. Dragon. So, three rounds of regeneration on that guy. Does it start now? Does it hit? Does it hit him now, or does it go uh, next? On round? the next start of the uh, start of his turn. All right, and then I'm going to run out. Okay. So you are now um, out on the bridge here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, it's good. I'm all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where is it? You see, your your carriage is run. You know. Is moving on. Okay. So that's going to bring timer to four. All right. That's going to bring us back to Mugen, who's in down. So give me a D, a D20 roll and a D4 roll. Four rounds. That's time. Okay. okay. And, oh yeah, that's right. Um, I have to roll a twenty, correct? Yep, you have to roll that twenty. All right. And you can use hero coins to re-roll those, but they're still flat. Okay. Uh, Scourge, you're surrounded mm -hmm. by vampires. Yeah, I mean that part's okay. The part that's not okay is that they're both down up there. Yep. <clears throat> huh. Well, I can't do anything if I'm dead, I guess, so I'll eat this other side of beef. <laughs> I can't imagine this Torton just guzzling beef <laughs> in, in the midst of a vampire attack. Mmm, so good. Delicioso. Um, okay. Oh, what? I still gotta get over there. Uh, the only way is with quickness again. Um, wait, would quickness still be up technically, Kane? Because I can't if if it lasts a round. Um, I cast the last round, right? Yeah, you cast it and then used it on that round to move. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can I'll, I'll attempt to cast it again. Okay. Would it would it be would it nullify the the hard? Would it just be normal? 
Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Make me fast. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. D David, was it? <laughs> Damien? <laughs> Devon? <laughs> he just look, looks at you and is like, you and your friends are all going to die. I don't know about that point of the sky. Sun's coming up. <laughs> I hear you guys don't like that kind of thing. Yeah, but we don't. We'll... This will be over quickly. Hmm. It will. That's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> I love to talk more shit, but my turn's over. <laughs> yep. All right, Gilda, give me a d20 and a d4. Oh, yeah. Oh. Two. Two rounds. Uh, my cloak's up, though. I'm now invisible. You, you are invisible. Okay. No one will see you die. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. This guy's going to come over. These guys are going to move up and watch Dravond take you on, and then they'll hop in every now and then. He might get a swipe or two. Um, so let's see how many swipe at you. We're going to just roll a d4. Three attacks. Uh, one, 19 and a 24. Yeah, that next one is going to kill me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, two hits, one, two, and a 12. Oh, <laughs> oh, 18, no. 18 points of damage. Down I go. So all those guys are <sighs> down up there? Yeah. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, this brings us to Preach. As he's running, you got. So can I can I roll my uh, the guy that's chasing me? Can I roll the die, the regeneration on him? Yes. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Okay. You see, some of the scars that he has begin to form over and heal. All right. <laughs> healing now, magic. Now, I have a question. Yes. Where are those guys in relationship to the bridge? Are they, because, are they like down over here? They're literally down below you, right here. I'm going to leap over the edge <laughs> and cast <laughs> healing Christ. wave on the way down. Okay. Alright. It's it's going to be one, I'm going to need a, a, a hard well, I'll just leave it. We'll leave it as normal. I need that uh, that save. Um, I mean, yeah. Just give me give me that spell spell against the fifteen. But just so you know, it's fifteen. Fifteen for the healing wave. But just technic technically, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no you're good. Because I di I didn't do anything. I just I the, the only thing that happened was the regeneration on him. Yeah, I had on to actually taken my. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because the regeneration went off on his turn. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, that was my, I, my, my bad. Okay, so he's going to come in, and he's just going to try to hit. 26. Six points of damage. Okay, I'm down and to four. Str contested strength check against a 10. Nope. Okay. He's going to drain you for two. Down to two. All right. Timer's going to drop from four to three. All right. Now it's your turn, Preach. All right. I'm going to do what I said I was doing. Okay. <laughs> I'll leap over the edge and, and healing wave on my way down. Okay. Give me that. Give me that spell check. Got it. Okay. So healing Nova. And healing Nova for uh, two points of damage for everybody. Okay. And then two points of healing for... Did I use my hero coin last round? Did you ask me to use a hero coin? I uh, can't remember. I don't remember either. Probably I did, so I'm just going to say no. But yeah, everyone takes two, two. So I'm up to four. So I was waiting. I was down to four, so I'm up to six. And then these two, those guys get two points of healing each. 
Okay. Now I need okay, you yeah. to give me a hard defense save. Yep. Whew, Got nice. it. Nice. Okay, so Preach falls from the sky, like slams into the the roof, slides down, and like dealt like gracefully lands in superhero pose or whatever as he casts Healing Wave. You guys he received two points of healing. And you guys are back up. Take a hero coin. It's preach. That shit was heroic. <laughs> right? Okay. That's going to bring us to Mugen. Gilda is just excitedly running around invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mugen is going to regen with his amber beads. Okay. And actually... No, he's gonna dire bear and then roll off the. I guess this is like a, like an in between two houses, like a yeah. roof, like a split roof. Yeah. And he's gonna roll off onto the path below and then head over towards preach. Okay. So cast that dire bear spell. And that's plus three. Uh, it's actually plus six. I've been forgetting to double. Actually, it's plus three. Yeah, it's and, plus yeah. three to cast, and then your effort, your effort bonuses are doubled with bear. Okay. Okay. All right, so you are now a bear with an extra heart. All right. Okay. Scourge. Scourge does a nip up and <laughs> looks around everybody and takes out his last side of beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, back to the full because of the Goblet of Uden. And after I scarf that down. I'm going to be like, well, it's been fun. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to, well, I mean, so I can go anywhere on the map with quickness, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll try to get as far as possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you my turn. All right, Gilda. You're invisible. Right, damn, okay. For four turn for four rounds. Yep. Um Where do I want to sneak? Uh I still only do have the two health. I think I'm gonna get over here. Can I still see like the vampires from over here? Wait, um, how far can I get? So you can probably we'll get see, to uh, like here get or over, over here, here yeah, yeah. with a dash. You can yeah. You can get so yeah, you can still see them. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything that would make me come out of invisibility, but as I just kind of run off, I'm going to use my healer's case. Okay. So the healer's for... case automatically heals you for one. One, one point. <laughs> yeah. Three to three. Oof. Okay. Um, what's these guys? Timer's going to tick from three to two. Two rounds left until the sun peaks up. They're going to be quick. Okay, we're going to go. This guy is really mad at Preach, <laughs> so he's going to step up. <laughs> the other two are... Uh, this one's going to step in. This one's going to step in here. We've got... We're going to have four go. Four more go on Preach, because they're not happy. Sorry, Preach. No worries. All right. And then how many are going after... Of the four remaining, how many are going after Mugen and how many are going after Scourge? Two are going after Scourge. And two are going after Mugen. But no one is going after Gilda. Okay, Scourge first. One minor, one great vampire. This is an eight, miss. That is an 18. Oh, that hits. Okay. All right, three points of damage, and then give me a contested strength roll against a 14. Let's go! 
<laughs> okay. You're able nice. to resist being being drained of more blood. All right. Thank goodness. Two minor attacks on Mugen. One, two. That's uh, nice. an 11. Nice. Nope, uh, 14. <clears throat> and then one attack, major attack at a one, so nothing. All right, and then four attacks on his Preach. One, two, three, four. My that. 12 is my armor. Okay, so that's three hits. One, Oof, two, three. Not good. I'm down. Okay. And then that's going to push these guys over to Mugen. We're going to do two major attacks on Mugen. One, two. Nope. Okay. All right. I rolled my dying timer. Is that right to do it now or do it next time? Um, do, you, you'd usually do it on the beginning of your turn, but technically it's going to be the beginning of your turn. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Bear what are you doing? Clicking. Okay. Second to last turn. Penultimate turn. Uh, Preach, you're down. You had a dying timer of four, I saw. Or now it's three. Yep. I, I, I rolled out a turn, so I'm rolling. Okay. So then give me a D20 roll. No miracles. Okay. But everyone's still up. Good. All right. That's going to bring us to Mugen. Um... Mugen is he's just going to bear out I mean he's gotta just bear out and he's just going to slap and tear at anybody that's over preach right now okay mm -hmm. um Nope, he'll cast regen on Preach. Okay. <laughs> Keep it close. <laughs> but he gets it, it with his amber beads. Okay. Um. Give me a d4. Three rounds. What's the nice. d4 for? For how many rounds he gets to heal? Uh, region, I think, is automatically four. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's Sorry automatic. About that. Uh, but I should have a D four out for my bear, though. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Mm hmm. I'll keep the three. Okay. All right. It's going to bring us to Scourge. Okay, I got two more quickness. Um, where can I go to? Where can I atom palm where I can get more of most vampires' least friends? Um, with the way that they're standing, you literally, it's not really possible. Like, you could you could get uh, these two, but your atom palm does up to near near. So yeah, you, it's either these guys or as soon as you start attacking these guys, it's gonna hit all of them. Yeah, I could. Yeah. So I could like move up here and like try to get like these guys, I guess. That these guys are still within near. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Um uh, huh. Just do it. Yeah, I mean I, I feel like Mujin, how much health are you at? <laughs> Two plus ten. So like if I actually do it here not like on um preach or like if i did it like in this area i'd get all the vampires except for the two down here yes right? i mean <laughs> it's just uh oh man and it's just it's just ultimate uh, so i mean yeah unless he rolls a 20 then it's two ultimates that's true <laughs> oh fuck it i'm gonna do it okay 
<laughs> I'm gonna appear here with quickness and be like, Mujen, preach. Uh, I know, I know, as soon as I preach, it's still unconscious. I'm like, uh-huh. I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna do the thing. I lift up into the air and I come back down. Here we go. No! <laughs> Every time. Fuck. Why, man? <laughs> I just haven't gotten one of these off today. Uh. All right. Oh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Score. Uh, that scores. That's going to bring us to Gilda. Um, I'm just kind of like huddling over here, invisible, but I'm going to pop out from like a pillar or something. Right, a vampiric ray. This noble in the back, the one in the uh, red coat. Okay. Oh. Well, that backfires. Uh, ooh, eek. Okay, but there, he's now aware of you. Um, I'm no longer invisible. Uh, wait, so what happens on a nat 1 with a spell cast? Um, technically something weird should happen. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's go with, um... Okay. Do-do-do. I'm gonna give that... Give me, I think it's a D... A D12 roll? Yep. Three. Incinerate all nearby vampires. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, just gotta find that table. Oop, 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 oop. The magic backfire table? Yeah. I'm almost there. There's just a lot of pages to flip through. Um. <sighs> Mercurial, that's what I, that's what it is, Mercurial effects. Mercurial. Mercurial mishaps. Uh, there we go. All right, so, Weary, you suffer one round of no spell use, and you may only move close for three rounds. Okay. That seems bad. Okay. Yeah. All right, last oh, second to last it's turn like I for get them. Hit in the head. Yeah, you're just you're really drained. This guy's gonna move over to you. Okay. This guy, these guys are all gonna focus in on Eugen here, including. We just need guy. to last. We just need to last this round, right? Yeah, this is essentially it. Okay, we're gonna have. Oh, three attacks on Eugen. One, two, three. None of them hit. Three, and then three major attacks against Eugen. One, two, three. That's a 24 is the one thing that hits. And that is a three. And then a contested strength check against a 15. Eugen. Uh, that would be a 12, unless my effort gets changed, uh, doubled. Yeah, you can double it, but... So that's 16, then. Okay, so you resist that. Alright, four attacks on Scourge. One, two, three, four. That's... <laughs> two hits, it looks like. Two hits. One, two. Eight damage. Alright, I'd go down to two. Okay. And then give me a contested strength check against a nine. I can beat that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> nice. All right. I did it. <laughs> and then one attack on Gilda against a 14, which is a hit. Shit. For two. And then a contested strength check against a 24. Oh. Oh. Good luck. Not a lot I can do about that. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Take half damage at least. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay, and they're going to drain you for five damage. I am not. Woo. You're down again? Yep. Okay. Hmm. All right. These guys are going to start pulling Preach out a little bit. 
All right, last round, you guys. I get a healing. I get a healing regeneration. Yep. So I'm up to seven. And then I'm going to healing wave everybody. Okay. Seems good. Damn. My hero coin to roll again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It do be like that sometimes. Do you want to move anywhere? Uh yeah, I want to be away from these guys. Okay. I'm going to run down here to where where uh where Gilda is. Okay. All right, Mugen. All right, Mugen is Still in bear form, and he is just going <clears throat> going to where's Scourge at with his health. Um, sorry. Uh, I'm at three. No, sorry, I'm at two. I'm at two. Uh, he's going to cast a regen on him. And attempt to push his way out towards where uh, Gilda is. Hey, Huge. Uh, my most successful amber beads yet. <laughs> nice. Okay. And do I have to roll strength to push my way through? Yeah, easy. Yeah, make it easy. Oh, Didn't geez. need it. Okay, where are you moving to? Uh, just as close as I can to Gilda. Okay. And right. I also get a D8 this round as well. Nice. Okay, that's gonna bring us to Scourge. All right. Bingo, bango. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I regen. Nice. Yay, off the seven. All right. Well, uh, damn. Um, last round of quickness. Mm -hmm. uh, I will get to my party ma members. Uh, oh, is it, am I standing just in the abyss? Oh, yeah, I gotta stand somewhere, okay, I guess, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll stand over the fallen Gilda in front of this guy again. And I'm yeah. like, ha, we meet again. And I'm going to triple regen everybody else. Or at least try. Okay. I tried, I said. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and as my spell doesn't go off, I look at him and I'm like, you know, it's just one of those days. <laughs> it's either a 1 or 20 for you, man. Hell yeah. That's the end of my turn. Okay, Gilda. Give me a D4 and a D20. Okay, right. four, That's but gonna... five. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, I can't do anything, really. Yep, that's it. Okay, so as, <sighs> as you guys stand over the fallen Gilda, <laughs> who's, you know, not as bad as it would have, you know, would seem... The sun peeks up over the crest of the mountains, and the vampires hiss, and they all the Dravon kind of stands up for you, and it says, "We will not forget this. We, our, uh, our clans, will find you." Uh, I'm gonna say, I might forget this. I've had worse. <laughs> and they fly up back to the castle leaving you guys alone in the streets. Okay, you have made an enemy of the vampires of Hemsburg, but you have survived. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm looking at everyone and be like, okay, we're coming back here with like, you know, like guns blazing with like six people. And we're killing, <laughs> we're rinsing everyone in the castle. <laughs> okay, well done you guys, you made it. Uh, there's a certain there's a certain raccoon I once met <laughs> who may be interested in aiding us at some later point. But but the, as you go to gather your forces, be sure that the vampires themselves will also gather their forces. Mm.